Today we celebrate the Feast of the Baptism of the Lord, and the Baptism of the Lord really launches the church out into ordinary time. And I know for many of us, we always have that feeling of a letdown, you know, Advent's behind us, Christmas is behind us now, the New Year's is, uh, is behind us, and now we're looking at, you know, ordinary time in 2017. Well, if we look at the signs of our times, there's absolutely nothing ordinary about our times. And matter of fact, this is an extremely exciting time for us to be alive. When we look at Jesus, as soon as he was baptized, he went off to the wilderness and he engaged in spiritual combat against Satan. Well, when we look at what's going on today, this is what we're being called to do. And I don't think that is mere coincidence that at this moment in history, when the world is waking up to the, to the fact that it has been enslaved for so long, and now it's looking for answers and it's looking for ways to defeat the evils. Well, we need to be looking to the wisdom of God. And what did he do at a time when the world needed this kind of message and direction and a blueprint to combat evil? Well, we go back 100 years in 1917. He sent his mother to Fatima at a time where there was a big revolution taking place in, in Russia, the Bolshevik Revolution, which was an attack to remove God from all aspects of civilization. Well, he sends his mother and she gave us four keys in order to, to battle this evil. The first is adoration. Adoration of Jesus, especially adoration of Jesus in the most blessed sacrament, as the angel taught the children just a year before 1916. Secondly, is make acts of reparation for our sins and those of the whole world. This was a big part of the message of last year's Jubilee of Mercy. And then the third, consecration of Mary's Immaculate Heart. And then fourth, pray the rosary and pray it every day, especially in your family. As we move now into 2017, these are four concrete things we can be doing every single day to make this world a better place. We talk about making things great again. We need to make things not just great, we need to make them holy. We need to, and that's only possible if God is at the heart of this. So that's Mary's mission. Mary is always the advent of Christ, and so Mary at, at Fatima, and now here we are 100 years later, and, and we're being uh, drawn to revisit the significance of, of her presence and her message. Mary wants to bring Jesus into the world in the most powerful and perfect of ways. So let us do that. Let us begin today, and then tomorrow, and every day, doing at least two things. Wake up, making an act of adoration, acknowledging God, and really consecrating your, your whole day to Him. And then secondly, pray the rosary every day. If you haven't been doing it in a while, it's not very difficult to pick up again. Start with maybe two decades in the morning, three in the evening. But Our Lady said pray these every day and watch what happens to your interior life and to the world around you.